And I was so nervous right here. All right, pause it, pause it, pause it. Yeah, right there. That's a good point to, to ask you this question. Uh, what is going through a person's mind when they're about to shove their arm into the jaws of an alligator snapping turtle? What's going on, Coyote Pack? And welcome back to Base Camp, the show where we analyze old videos on the Brave Wilderness channel and tell you how we made them. Now, as you know, I'm always in front of the camera, but then we've got Mario over there as our wildlife biologist and camera operator, and of course, Mark here as the director and our main cinematographer. That's a mouthful right there, isn't it? It's a lot. Thank yeah. you for the introduction, though. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I've actually been practicing that introduction <laughs> for quite a few days now. What are you wearing today, Mario? That looks very festive. Oh, thank you. This is one of my favorite shirts from one of my favorite cartoons. Adventure Time. Hmm. Adventure Time. Why does he have a sword? Because uh, he's just cool. He goes around and he does adventures with a sword. Is Battles. that a big yellow hot dog? No, that's Jake the dog. Oh. What about your shirt? That's uh, interesting. Yeah, this is, uh, I actually picked this one up at Target in the kids' uh, clearance bin. It was uh, on sale. It is a youth size large, but I love it because it has this little coyote patch on it. So you can wear kids' clothes? I guess so. That must save you a lot of money. Uh, well, well, it's in the clearance bin at Target. <laughs> How about you? What you got on today? Uh, since we're all wearing fun shirts, I thought I'd support my buddies over at Chunimals. Uh, this is the state of Ohio, although it also has eyes and a mouth and legs and little uh, little T-Rex arms. But uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of hangry, but in a fun way. Yeah, and speaking yeah. of chomping looking teeth, now last week we gave you guys an episode about stings and we promised we would do a bite episode. So Jeez. today we've got a really exciting one lined up. In fact, the first intentional bite I ever took. You guys remember what that was? Oh yeah, I remember what it was. I think it was a reptile. Oh yeah. yes. Deep in the bayous. The one and only alligator snapping turtle chomp. So if you guys are ready, and I know you guys are ready, right? Oh yeah. Huh? Let's dive into this video. Here we go, guys. I'm Coyote Peterson. Ooh, look at the size of that turtle's head. Bitten. What was I thinking? Ginormous <laughs> alligator <laughs> snapping turtle. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. Ready? One, two, three. Nine! Ah! Oh, man. And then there's the suspenseful black screen, right? Right, right. Because I think that when you first cut this, you actually showed the bite, and I was like, man, we can't give it away too yeah. soon. But you know the momentum of my arm is yeah. going into that turtle's mouth, so you're like, okay, I'm hooked. I gotta keep watching. And, and of course, we hear what happens as well. Let's, let's listen to that one more time. One, two, three. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What sort of noise is Coyote gonna make on this episode, you know? Oh, and here's a nice animation coming up. Oh yeah, dragon, dragon tails. tails. I love that, how we incorporated dragon into the shell and tails into the tail. I think that still needs to be a t-shirt. Yes. What do you guys yeah. think? Do you want to see a dragon tails t-shirt? Could be on the Brave Wilderness store right now. Well, maybe well, not yet, no, but that's no, actually no. something that I can talk about that will be on the store. The Dragon Tales official logo sh logo shirt will be there soon, and probably a couple other Dragon Tales things. What sure. about that shirt? Uh, no, I think Target has the rights to these, oh, unfortunately. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys. So right now I'm sitting here. Oh, jeez. Calm geez. down. <laughs> I totally forgot that that happened. A couple months back, that's a good size snapping turtle, man. Yeah, that's a 40 pounder. Question. Should I be bitten by yeah, an Yeah, let's talk about turtle. this. Yeah. Well, so the the whole reason for why this happened at all was because you had the funny idea of posting this on Instagram. I blame social media. <laughs> it's a big problem for the reason that I do a lot of the things that I do. Now, actually, the way that this happened is, and that's you holding that turtle, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, this was a snapping turtle we caught earlier in the day. He's a small guy, he was only about 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And we got this picture, look how wide the mouth of that turtle can open. And I posted this picture on Instagram and was like, you know what, let's just as a joke, ask people if I should be bit by an alligator snapping turtle. Right, good idea, bad idea? Yeah, and what did they say? Well, unfortunately for me, everybody was like, yes, Coyote, get bitten by the turtle. I mean, this was the largest Instagram post we'd ever made. Hundreds of comments of people wanting to see what would happen if a human was bitten by an alligator snapper. Now, you put a question like that out there in the world of social media of all places, what do you really think people were gonna say? No, don't do it? Yes, I thought people would go, that's crazy, <laughs> Coyote, preserve your body, we don't want you to get injured. I remember when you did this, and I was talking to Mario, I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna wanna see him get bit. Yeah, it kind of backfired on you, buddy. A Little bit, yeah. and we definitely had to deliver for the audience, so we came up with a pretty good scheme on how to do this, but let's keep watching before we get into that. 
I was expecting you guys to say, no way, Coyote, don't do it. Yeah, but surprisingly, right, guys, come on. more than 95% of you say Look at that yes. turtle. Look at how big his like head is. If an alligator snaps and he's pretty, pretty close to my face, but that's as far as they can I've reach out with their, with their necks. I've been batted around by a grizzly bear, but nothing I don't think makes me more nervous than to get my arm Now, into let's the talk about the of size turtle. of this turtle. Because well, 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 but why is he so close to my face? Look at that. Well, you're holding him. So. I know. Like, I'm looking at that now. Like, his face... His beak is inches from my nose. It's just fence, right? <clears throat> yeah. So when you made the Instagram post, we had a small turtle. Yes. We had a small turtle. And when everybody sort of piled on and said, yeah, do it, do it, do it. We're like, great, let's catch another small turtle. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, it's going to hurt really bad. Maybe you get a little puncture. And some stitches. And quickly we determined that maybe this is not such a good idea. But you wanted to try it anyway. Again. Mario, Mario said, I don't think so, guys. I was very skeptical from the beginning. I was like, guys, this is not a good idea. And, uh, well, you know, I followed your lead because uh, you were just very adamant to get bit. Well, uh, yeah, I guess in yeah. all fairness, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a better well, excuse, but I don't. What are you doing with your that. hand? Right you there. know, I look back Easily at this now, like this was me in my heyday. I was so young and, and I didn't know what I was doing back then. This is like, what, three years ago, right? <laughs> look how fast you were. Now, now you're, which is a, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of white in my beard. <laughs> like, this turtle's jaws are capable of doing. That's a good looking alligator snapping turtle. Right I mean, look at that. He, look at the size of his head. That is a dominant heart. male like that. <laughs> sure is. He's got a weird crooked right nose, too. And, uh, look at his little yeah, piggy nose. I think this is pretty crazy. If you guys had all said, no, 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 definitely don't yeah, do this. See, if you guys had all just said, no, 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 so don't do this, I wouldn't have done it. But you were all like, do it! Of course they did. I think I got to go through I would have, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's Adam. There's our buddy Adam. To do a test to see just how Adam thought this was was crazy. Just so you guys know, now, Adam's the guy that we were working right? with in Louisiana yeah. who had yeah, access to all that. this that property in the bayou where we could go out and, and catch snapping right turtles. Are we doing so, a barbecue or something? No, let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the turkey leg. Yeah. So I like turkey. I think turkey leg. It really worked well for the video. Um, created some cool dynamics to kind of look at before right. we went through with the bite, but. In all actuality, we did this as a real test. Mm -hmm. Like we, we really wanted to see what the damage was going to look like, just in case. Because if it was really bad, then you weren't going to do it. Yeah, I mean, at first I was like, well, is the turtle just going to kind of bite and hold on to this? Is it actually going to poke a hole in it? Is it going to break the bone? The turkey drumstick was about as big as my forearm. We got some big, some big. I got some massive. I got some. I, look they, at them turkeys right there. These are like the turkey gym? drumsticks, you know, <laughs> or or Popeye arms. It depends how you look at it. Uh, but yeah, like as big as a turkey drumstick. So let's see how that would react to a turtle bite. Yeah, and that's, uh, filming this with the turkey leg. This was like our first time forearm. seeing the damage from an alligator right. snapping turtle. And, uh, and that's all muscle, you know, the turkey yeah. leg. That's a, a big chunk of meat right there. So give us a good idea. So what we're gonna do is attach this turkey leg to the back of a piece of bamboo. That was a good idea, whoever's idea was to put it on the That was my idea. That was, that was idea. definitely my idea. That was a good idea. Yeah. That was good. Just now, it just keeps my fingers out of the bite zone, because the turtle can't turn its head, so you're holding onto a turkey leg, you don't want to get your fingers stuck in those jaws. I don't know, guys. I don't want to get injured so bad that I'm sent to the hospital. He gets through this turkey Maybe don't let yourself get bit by an alligator snapping Yeah, I mean, what were you even thinking in that moment? Let's get bitten by a turtle. But I love that this is where we first started getting creative with the GoPros, too, where you've got, like, the GoPros on different things. We have the GoPro on the bamboo. Eventually, I put a GoPro on my arm. But here comes the initial test. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow, did you see how deep his beak just went into that? Now, you hear that? That That is not a sound effect, folks. Yeah. Like, that is actually what it sounds like when an alligator snapping turtle chomps a turkey leg. And I think the one thing I was really concerned about and Mario and I were talking about beforehand was, could this potentially break your arm? Mm -hmm. We knew it had the potential to like, you know, lacerate your arm, but like, could it actually break bone? Right, like crush the bone itself, which is what was happening there. That sound that you heard was actually the turkey bone cracking. Like, mm -hmm. and we, we get to that point here when I take it out of its mouth. Yeah, guys, I don't know about that. Hold it there. Ooh, oh, yikes! Yeah. That could have that? been my arm. It was about to be over. Yeah, like he just chomped. Look at that hunk of meat hanging off the of side there. Leg anymore at this point. Look at the yeah. the meat is just falling off. That was a solid turkey leg. That is his lower beak. That's the hole that the lower beak made. Ooh, there's my cool dragon sound that I put in there. I started yeah, using that dragon Godzilla sound in these Dragon me. Tales episodes. Hey, you were still editing back here. Oh, yeah. Let's rethink, this. Let's rethink this. Yeah, you can actually see in my face there where I was like, uh, I didn't know what to do. I was the like, cut the cameras at this point. And then we have this nice transition into like, let's talk about alligator snapping turtles and their bite. 
There was no way I was putting my arm in its mouth unprotected. Sorry, guys. You only grow. I mean, putting putting your arm in the alligator snapping turtle's mouth unprotected, you, you would end up just like that turkey leg. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing was, like, Adam, he had been bitten by snapping turtles before. He, he actually was bitten by a large alligator snapping turtle, almost took off part of his thumb. I love that mm-hmm. line that he says, like, you only get one set of fingers, they don't grow back or whatever it was. <laughs> it was awesome. But, you know, he's somebody who had been catching alligator snapping turtles his entire life, so he looked at this as just being completely crazy. But, yeah, once we saw what the jaws did to that turkey meat, it was like, ooh, mm-hmm. we need to rethink this. Right, which... Luckily, so I could still go through with we had co- devised a plan because we, we, we sort of, brace on my there, arm. there's the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. So I remember <clears throat> the night before this day, we were all sitting around base camp and we were thinking, how are we actually going to do this without you going to the hospital? Yeah, because we made the decision yeah. that night. Once all the Instagram posts had come in, like, how do you have to do this? We didn't want to really back out. I was like, well, this is this could be a really cool episode. We can yeah. teach people what happens if you get bitten by a snapping so, turtle. So you had the idea for let's test it on a turkey leg. Mm-hmm. And I think the the brace was my idea being like, worst case scenario, it demolishes a turkey leg, which it did. And then we built some kind of brace on your arm as protection so you can at least feel some of the pressure of the right. bite. Mm-hmm. So Because obviously we're not here to get coyote maimed. We're here to learn about things. We wanted to learn just how bad the pressure from the bite was, right. first yep. hand or arm or And, and how, you how powerful is that bite, Mr. Wildlife Biologist? Like the bite of an alligator snapper turtle, is it as bad as people think? Uh, well, we did learn a little bit after the fact that you got mm. bit, right? But uh, contrary to what most people think, their jaw pressure isn't as intense as other animals, right? Like so, an alligator or crocodile. Yeah, alligators and crocodiles have right. tons of jaw pressure, mm. 3,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, but there's different aspects, right? Alligator mm-hmm. snapping turtle has the beak, mm-hmm. right? right? And those two little points, that is gonna be where the most pressure is at when that touches whatever it is it's biting. Mm-hmm. As well, as we know too, they've got serrations, right? Mm-hmm. So their beak overlaps and you got kind of like a scissor effect, mm-hmm. right? So you're gonna get a lot of different uh, factors when you get bit. You're gonna L- get the let's, jaw pressure. Right? Let's dispel a, a rumor real quick, yeah. actually, yeah. because one of the big- Who wants rumors, to dispel a rumor? Rumor! Okay. One of the big rumors going into this that we had heard about was, oh my gosh, an alligator snapping turtle can actually snap a broomstick in half. Uh, is that true? Absolutely not. I don't care who has told you what or what you think you've seen. Maybe if it was an old rotted broomstick, an alligator snapping turtle or a common snapping turtle cannot bite a broomstick in half. It is not right. possible. Yeah. Not possible. No. Yeah. I mean, the size of the animal is gonna gonna have a factor mm-hmm. in how much jaw pressure it has and so on. Uh, you know, alligator snapping turtles are ambush predators, right? Mm-hmm. They just lie in wait with their mouths open. They've got the little lure, right? So cool. And that yeah. comes, you know, fish comes in, gets chomped. Wham. So the jaw pressure isn't as intense. However, um, there's a lot of factors involved. Right. Yeah. And I do want to take this moment to note, first of all, I don't think we said this at the beginning of the episode, never, ever, ever try to do this at home, right? Obviously. Never get bitten by a snapping turtle. But if you see a snapping turtle in your backyard, also don't put a broomstick or a piece of wood in its mouth. It's actually really bad for a turtle's beak to chomp down on something that's that hard. Now the beak is constantly growing throughout the course of the turtle's life, but you can chip it, you can injure it. So I know a lot of people think, oh cool, snap it, let me put a broomstick in its mouth. Please do not do that, guys. All right, let's get back into me being bitten by the turtle. Ace bandage, four splints. That's funny. Uh, and some sports wraps. This takes me back to that, that night we, we got all the supplies. We'll we literally made a, a midnight run to Walmart mm-hmm. <laughs> to get all this stuff. We kind of MacGyvered this brace together on the fly. So uh, I'm glad that it ended up uh, ultimately working out because you still have your arm. Right. And then, well, here's one of those, those first instances of putting the GoPro in like this good position to get a neat bite, bite shot. It sounds like, it sounds like we a We're constantly keeping the turtle down. hydrated. Which is important. Of course, as oh. we know, oh man, he bit the water bottle. I was like, oh, buddy, give me that back. See, yeah, but the water bottle's well, squishy, that. so a My turtle biting a water bottle. Right, you don't ever try to put a water bottle on a turtle's mouth, but that was not going to hurt its beak in any way whatsoever. There's there you a can little see. Yeah, go, go back. Back that up just a touch. Nice. Let's see there. Let's look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, there there's the worm like appendage. And that's, that's actually a great shot of the jaws where mm-hmm. you can see how that upper jaw layers over the bottom jaw and causes that scissor effect. And you, mm-hmm. you can actually see the points too, because that's, mm-hmm. that's what we're really worried about. Right. Yeah. Those points puncturing your arm, uh, to where like, it, it is sharp, right? right? The jaws are sharp, but like not as sharp as like a common snapping turtle. No, no, no. The common snapping turtle actually has a more dangerous bite, in my opinion, than the alligator snapping turtle, even though alligator snapping turtles can grow significantly bigger. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's see this bite. Ooh, here we go. This is great. We're Nervous. four minutes Nervous. in, and we're just about okay. to be at the bite. Like, with okay. a sting hey, episode nowadays, you got to wait until 20 zone. minutes into the video. The oh, look at that beastie. And I was so right. nervous right here. GoPro. All right, pause it, pause it, pause it. Yeah, right there. That's a good point to, to ask you this question. Uh, what is going through a person's mind when they're about to shove their arm into the jaws of an alligator snapping turtle? You know, it really took a lot for this one. It takes a lot for me to be bitten and stung by any of these things, but this one specifically being my first intentional bite was incredibly nerve wracking. Sure, I had the brace, but after you see a turtle mangle a turkey leg, and you're like, well, is it just gonna just crush my arm through this brace? I had no idea it was gonna happen, and I was yeah. just like, Go for it, just had to do it at this point. I remember you asked me off camera, like, Mark, your shirt's gonna hold? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it should hold, it should hold. <laughs> In theory. I, I, Mario and I were talking, we were giving a 50-50. I was yeah. skeptical, yeah. but you probably regret that Instagram post, right? Uh, well, it did start this great experimentation into seeing how that at bites least at and that At this moment, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely was. All right, let's, let's get ready for the bite, here we go. Here One, two, three. Ah, you just have to, you have to just commit. Oh, no. Cracking the bamboo. Ooh, that was the moment. I'll pause it. Oh, right Come there. Back. Right back, there. Right no, no, there. right there. You can see it going through. Well, there was two. It's this one, that shot, back up just a touch, right there mm. where the beak, and this was to your point of the mm. most pressure being the tips of the beak. The beak, for all of that time, it was the jaws coming down on my forearm, so the weight was evenly distributed. Now, yep. no, don't get me wrong, it hurt. It was like getting hit with a sludge hammer, but at this point, the beak went through the brace in between the bamboo, and I still have the scars today from the, the snapping turtle yeah. bite. No, that's a centipede. Man. No, the centipede's this arm. Oh, this sorry. The turtle. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, with, with this, uh, this bite in particular, I'll give away a little bit of the movie magic here. You actually had to get bit twice. There were actually twice. two rounds of bites. Mm -hmm. um, we cut it together to make like one round, mm -hmm. but uh, we kind of expected the turtle to bite and hold on, but it did not do that. Right. Why do you think that was? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and defer to you on that one. Yeah, uh, simple. So. The turtle's not hanging on because he doesn't think your arm's prey, right? It's not trying to eat your arm. That's a defensive bite. That's mm -hmm. him saying, leave me alone, right? Mm -hmm. So they're gonna be quick bite and releases. Mm -hmm. If your arm maybe tasted like chicken or, or fish, maybe it would've <laughs> hung on, right? But uh, certainly, yeah, it was just bite and release because he was trying to scare you away. Right. I think part of it too is also the fact that my arm was a pretty big object to go inside of the turtle's mouth. So originally this was get a snapping turtle to bite and hold on, which as we know happened with a common snapping turtle bite. But in this instance, like you said, he was simply trying to almost like a warning bite, be like, yeah. what are you doing? I'm not gonna eat you. Until of course he turned his head and got to this point. You can see on my face right yeah. there, that's real pain guys. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You can just see, you can see your face like, yep, oh. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, yeah, that was uh, rough. Like your adrenaline gets rushing like that, and I think. Definitely had a lot of adrenaline. You can yeah, see my hand shaking. It's actually yeah. shaking like the camera throbbing. at that I don't know point. If you might have busted blood vessels in my arm. This is the first time you really started playing with that perspective of, from the GoPro. Yeah, yeah, get that with those cool That's GoPro nice perspectives. Yeah. Yeah. So there you can yeah. see, there you see the blood seeping right through. Now. Those are the. Ugh. Man. It almost looks like a vampire bite. Yeah. Well, and that was because there were, were and you can see all the other indentations mm -hmm. that unless you actually stop the video like this, so you can see the two that pop through, but you have all these other marks where the beak was like, almost like, you know, when we did the dog episode, the attack by a dog and all those like pressure yeah. point marks. I was about to say actually, compared to the dog, now that you did the dog, how mm -hmm. was the pressure? Uh, the pressure's definitely worse. Yeah. Alligator snapping turtle's definitely more pressure than, mm. than Maya, the bell. I'll take your word yeah. for it. Bite dog, <laughs> yeah. So how deep were these? Um, I mean, I don't know, like, yeah. Like I didn't need to get stitches or anything like that, but we did put antiseptic on them, wash it out really good. I mean, to the point where today, I definitely still have the scars on my arm here somewhere from, from those bites. So it was, it was pretty pretty good bite. Whew, that was a crazy experience. You guys asked for it and I got chomped by a 50 pound alligator snapping Oof. turtle. Oh. Actually, pause it. This guy has been an incredible So real quick, sport. before we released the turtle, mm -hmm. uh, throughout the whole filming, that turtle was very comfortable, right? right? We made sure it was in the shade, we kept pouring water on it, and in my opinion, I think it was having a good time biting you. Right. It had a big smile yeah. on its face. Well, and, and it's important to know, too, you said pouring water on it, because yeah. with an amphibian, you need to keep it hydrated at all points of time. 
as we know, an alligator snapper turtle is a reptile. This turtle could stay out of water for days sure. and be completely fine. So yeah. I just don't want people to get confused with that. Yeah, yeah, I would say compared to most turtles you catch, this one got a little bit more revenge. Yes. Yeah, so. it, it did. When they actually managed to chomp me, or in this instance, I let it intentionally chomp me, I think the turtles get some sort of like, I got you. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we kind of combine the outro with the call to action yeah. here, so. Yeah, well, because at that point in time, we were trying to make the videos as short as possible, so we had to rope this all into being under seven minutes in length. Yep. But what was cool is that this was the end of the first season of Dragon Tales. I mean, this was our quest to find a world record common or alligator snapping turtle, which we still have not done yet, guys. If you know where there's some big snapping turtles, tell us about it in the comments section below. All right. Nice, well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the episode, the alligator snapping turtle chomp. And the good news is that spring is finally here, which means more snapping turtles. You guys want to see some more Dragon Tales episodes? I'm ready to get back out in the swamp. Man, yeah. it's my favorite time of year to go out there and catch snapping turtles. And this is your first spring here in Ohio. Sure, yeah. Is it going to be cold? Uh, well, considering there's still snow out there today. <laughs> it can be. Believe it or not. Yeah, there is still snow, but the snapping turtles are going to be here soon. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? That was pretty awesome. I had a lot of fun looking at that. Maybe uh, next time we'll have to look at a, a different bite video. Well, we do still have the common snapping turtle bite, which as we know, that one missed the wood. Another MacGyver effort gone awry when it comes to being bit hey, by reptiles. you still have your hand, so mm -hmm. I would say it was successful. In, in all fairness, and a lot of people have learned, I, I do have some scars from that one, but a <laughs> lot of people did learn about snapping turtles and hopefully learned something from this episode. And I, I think this is probably a good point to stress. Guys, snapping turtles are potentially dangerous and we are getting to the time of year where you do start seeing snapping turtles move around. So if you mm -hmm. see one in your backyard, do not try to catch it. Because if you are bitten, trust me, it's gonna be a really bad day, right? right. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say Mario definitely wins shirt of the day. Pretty nice. awesome shirt. Anybody willing to wear a shirt with cartoons with swords, it's probably it's gonna win cool shirt of the adventure day. Adventure Time, right? It's yeah. not just a cartoon. It's, it's <laughs> not. I bet a lot of kids out there watch Adventure Time, don't they? Either that or you're just a giant kid. All right, you guys ready for an outro? Let's do, Let's do it. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Mark Vins. And I'm Mario Dakota. Be brave. Stay, Stay wild. wild. We'll see you on the next Base Camp Adventure. Dude, we got it all the Hey, Coyote Pack. I have some exciting news. I am proud to announce that the crew and I are headed back on tour with Brave Wilderness Live. Our next shows take place in the Midwest. Tickets can be purchased at the Brave Wilderness website, and these shows are certain to sell out. So make sure that you reserve your seats today. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I'm Harry Peterson, be brave!